Um, uh, I really want to thank the American Bar Association and the uh, German Federal Bar Association, our co-sponsors for this event. The American Bar Association has lent us this remarkable exhibit um, out on the floor of our atrium. We hope you get a chance to look at that. Um, and the German Federal Bar has, uh, among other things, uh, co-sponsored our reception. We really thank the really thank the support of these folks. Um, we have a lot of distinguished guests. I think the president of the university is going to uh, say hi to some of you. Uh, I'm going to move on to introducing him. Um, although I do want to say a brief word about why we're doing this, why why we're here, and why today. Um, and I, I'm a relatively new dean. I started in uh, just this last July. Um, when I came into the law school, or actually before I came in, I met with uh, faculty members individually and uh, to get a, you know uh, some advice. And uh, one of the things that happened, among many good things, was that I met with Professor Cliff Fishman, who's in the audience here today. Professor Fishman taught uh, criminal law-related topics here for many years and spoke uh, very movingly uh, to me about being a Jewish faculty member at a Catholic law school his entire career. And what it's really meant to him uh, in the last, with the last three popes, um, saying what they said and doing what they did with respect to the Holocaust and visiting Auschwitz and so forth. And so that was the inspiration. Thank you, Professor uh, Fishman. He uh, retired at the end of this last calendar year. And so this is in part to honor you, sir. Uh, thank you very much. further and further away from these events that we're here to talk about today, um, I, I just think that we can't be, um, we can't be blasé, we can't be uh, lukewarm about, uh, I, I'm very interested in the school's Catholic mission and identity and coming in here and talking about that and meeting with people like Professor Fishman who you know, helps students lead satyrs and, and things like that as well. And so what does our Catholic mission mean? Um, and I just think that we can't be lukewarm about um, loving other people who are made in the image of God as our neighbors, and about, I don't think we can be lukewarm about calling evil by its name. Uh, and so I would urge all of us to um, make ourselves contemporaneous with this pivotal, pivotal moment in human history. Um, and that may sound a bit mystical since we can't go back in time, but what I mean is, you know, we have events such as this, where as we go from generation to generation, we remember and we get uh, as close to it as we can so that we don't forget and so that we draw the proper lessons from it. So that's why we're here, that's why we're doing it. It dawned on me that 2020 uh, was the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the Nazi death camps and at the end of World War II and uh, the start of the Nuremberg trials. And so of course, so of course we are a law school and our, um, our event has a, a legal theme. And the ABA, uh, as I said, was kind enough to lend us their exhibit, which is called Lawyers Without Rights. And this is the opening event uh, for that exhibit. Um, we expect to do a uh, judges conference and an academic conference in the in the fall. So we hope uh, some of you may participate in that as well. Um, but let me introduce John Garvey. Um, he's the fifteenth president of the Catholic University of America, and he became uh, our president uh, on July first, two thousand ten. He's a nationally acclaimed expert in constitutional law, religious liberty, and the First Amendment. He's authored and co-authored numerous books and articles, too numerous to mention, but uh, two include What Are Freedoms For? and Religion in the Constitution. He received his A.B. summa cum laude from the University of Notre Dame in 1970. Uh, he graduated from Harvard Law School in 1974. He clerked for Irving R. Kaufman, the Chief Judge of the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, later joined the law firm of Morrison Forster in San Francisco, <coughs> began teaching law at the University of Kentucky in 1976 and held that appointment until 1994. <clears throat> From 1981 to 1984, he served as assistant to the Solicitor General of the United States, arguing many prominent cases in front of the United States Supreme Court. He taught at the University of, he taught law at the University of Notre Dame from 1994 until 1999, when he was appointed Dean of the Boston College Law School. I can tell you it is very helpful to have a president of the university who knows what it's like to be a law school dean. Uh, he is regularly, uh, many, many, two things, too many things to mention, but he's regularly testified before the United States House of Representatives, including on issues related to religious liberty and anti-Semitism. And so with that, I will turn it over to President John Harvey.